What's up guys? I'm Tadayoshi CJ and welcome back for another video here. So as you could see, this scene is pretty simple and for today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make anime steel texture. So for in this case, as you could see, this steel texture is also interactive to our light source. So it's pretty good. As you could see, it's still metal. It's not just a normal anime texture, but it's still metal. So it's still metallic. So now, of course, we're going to do this so in this case you could also apply this into vertical or horizontal positions as you could see the same as this but with a different style now let's just go into focus here so in this case as you could see i have this node set up ready for this one so first of all let's add a principal bsdf but before that let's check our render properties it's my ambient occlusion is on and i think that's all for this one because if we turn off the ambient occlusion it might change a little bit on, on the shadow part so yes now let's focus on the texture here on this still now we have a metallic here which is 0.441 we could still add a lot more and it's going to be more interactive with the sun or the, any light source now for the color here for the base color we have this part here so let's add a frame here so that you will know that this is the first part here so the most important part here is the color ramp then the shader rgb then diffuse the next is the gradient here so gradient is also important here for horizontal cylinders you could simply copy mine linear and the location is pretty much on default settings now for the color ramp so like we could set this first into zero first for the saturation we could or we should add a color here from dark to light so make sure that the light is on the middle so you could simply copy this one then i set it mine on this plane because if you move this for example the white part here this is what gives the metallic part or the highlight of the metallic texture or animated texture here so you could simply add some UN saturation so you could simply add a U saturation value for easier to tweak the texture of to easier tweak the texture colors there now now for the next part which is another important part here is the texture itself the metal or the watercolor painting texture for the metal so that it would look more anime so I added a Voronoi here and make sure it's connected on alpha. So Voronoi position to alpha, position to normal here, normal not alpha. Then I added the job geometry here, normal as well. A noise texture which is it which gives the texture here, as you could see. Then the mapping, you could just simply press Ctrl T for this one if you want to add texture coordinate and mapping and make sure it's on object here then connected to the vector vector itself make sure that detail is around three then scale you could simply add and for this one you could simply add this one as well for a lot more varieties for the texture itself so you could also add a color ramp here and make, let's try to make it constant and you would see the difference that it would look like this so it doesn't look like good but if you could try to make it is then you could do your own style so what's important is we get the gist of the this texture or the watercolor painting texture so let's ignore that now for this geometry normal to vector you can simply add here then voronoi vector to vector scale is for as well you could also change the voronoi texture here into like chevy chev so this would look like a little more all right so there's a little bit difference so next is this one you could simply and this is the most important part here so the subtract here you could add your own style then here for the scale you could try to make or different in scale so for example like this and let's scale this down now as you could see it's more so as you could see this texture is now a little bit more looking watercolor texture now, as you could see so it depends on your style so since this is horizontal so i squeeze the texture of the watercolor texture 
into the Z axis as well. But for these vertical cylinders, as you could see, this is squeezed on. You could squeeze this on Y axis. So that's all for this tutorial. And another tip, you could also add an outline for this. So you could simply add an outline or black outline if you want to and you could just check my other videos for that part so that's the tutorial for the anime steel texture which is also interactive to light as you could see if i move the sun it's interacting to it so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial so i hope you learned a lot from this tutorial and see you soon for more anime tutorials later so Thank you guys for watching, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button.